Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to FX Maniac. This is Sayed Mahmoud Amiri again, and welcome to the Speedtree training series. So in this series, we're going to be taking a look at Speedtree, which is an industry standard for creating realistic, high-end and high-detailed trees. So we're going to start by taking a look at the interface of the Speedtree and how to navigate around. And we're also going to be taking a look at some of the most important options to know in order to work well inside Speedtree. Then we're going to move on to creating our tree. So we're going to be creating our tree procedurally using generators like trunk, branches, leaves, and knots, and all that. And we're also going to be taking a look at the most important settings in each of these generators to be able to have great control over your objects. And we're also going to be taking a look at the node mode alongside with the freehand mode to be able to have even greater control over your objects. Then we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the forces that are available inside Speedtree to be able to influence and affect your objects in different ways. So we're going to be taking a look at the different forces and how they affect every object along with the settings that come up with them. And finally, we're going to be taking a look at a how to use a mesh as an object and how the tree will interact with it. And then we're going to move on to adding custom meshes as fruits in your trees and also creating beautiful growth animations inside Speedtree and how to use the growth and wind system. And finally, we're going to be taking a look at exporting your objects from Speedtree to your 3D application of choice. So you can export your growth animations and you can export a single mesh to be able to use in your 3D application of choice. So if you want to learn Speedtree from the ground up all the way to some advanced levels, make sure to wait for these tutorials. And if you want to support me, you can subscribe to my channel. And if you want to have early access to this tutorial series, I will be uploading them in my Patreon page so you can go ahead and subscribe there and have access to the tutorials before it is uploaded to my YouTube channel. So you can go ahead and support me there and get access to the tutorials. So we will see you in the first video.